Minneapolis, this is the F Plus Live. Our sixth F Plus Live, mostly annual, except for that one year. And this is our biggest F Plus Live ever. We have more people in this, in this stage than ever. We have more people getting drunk than ever. We have a fog machine. And to that end, we're going to do the only appropriate thing that anyone would do in the situation. We will summon Satan. I hold in my hands a book of documents or spells of internet writing. So terrible, so earth-shatteringly awful, so hideously pornographic as to shake the bounds of this earth and summon forth the ultimate evil to enslave us all. Now, of course, some people have asked me, Lemon, why would you summon Satan? I think the answer's obvious, we don't need to discuss it anymore. Now, other people have tried to summon Satan before, of course, and they have failed. They are fools because they, unlike me, did not read Aleister Crowley's magnificent book, How to Summon the Dark Lord, and three testy smo tasty smoothie recipes that will melt away the pounds. And it says, and I quote, <laughs> get drunk and read a bunch of crap. That is exactly what we will do tonight. 15 readers will come to the stage. 15 things will be read for you. And at the end, the ultimate evil will be upon us. Now I don't need any more preamble than that, so let's bring up Bunny Bread! Bunny bread? Yes. Here is your first reading or spell oh. provided to you by a secret spellcaster. Wait, not the secret spellcaster. A spellcaster that will be delivered onto you. Okay. Open up that package and read this material. Oh. Hi, Mom. Oh, no. We are being filmed. my mom drinks. What you got there? <clears throat> I have dirt eating from Experience Project. <laughs> Who provided this spell for you? That son of a bitch right over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cheapskate, by the way. That son of a bitch right over there. Thank you. Ever since the first time I ate dirt, I knew what my taste buds would want more. When I was five years old, I ate my first fistful of red dirt. It was so tasty, and it melted in my mouth. I remember getting yelled at by my grandmother for eating it that one time, and after that, I never laid hands on it, because by then, I was eating the sleep board's chalks. No one ever knew I would be eating that, and my grandma never found out. I didn't eat it for long, because when I got seven... <laughs> when, I, when I got seven more pieces of chalk, I guess. I was at a sleepover, and the girl's grandmother that I was sleeping over at gave us, all of us, a pinch of dirt to eat, like a blessing from God. <laughs> Their God's different than mine. And I would always want more, while the other girls would not want any more than they received. Then, then, by the time I was ten... I remember eating my mom's marble box. Wait, that's... Whoa! 
Didn't think we get that blue that early. I remember, yeah, okay. This took a strange turn. It was this soft, tiny box, craved, craved, <laughs> craved out of soft marble. She had three of them. Well, mom's got fucking problems. <laughs> And I ate them all. Well, we got fucking problems, all of us, the whole family. She never found out. Really, you're really bad at it then. Then, when I was in the second grade, I remember eating pencil graphite. I would just eat it like chips or candy. <laughs> Nummy. But not too much of it. But whenever I was alone. Period. Then... <laughs> Then I remember the first time I ate drywall or sheetrock. Don't we all remember our first That's time? That's not dirt. Everyone remembers their first time, man. That's, yeah, you're right. Thank you, Stug. <sighs> the first time I ate drywall or sheetrock, my cousins had got their first real house, and my dad and uncles were building the garage, and my cousins, and my, and my cousins were playing around the house and hiding everywhere. Hiding everywhere. And I, they're big fat fucks. And I remember going into the garage and picking up this white substance like a rock. And remembering that I have ate a marble. I... I... I put the sheetrock in my mouth. And I fell in love with the taste. It was like the taste of semi-dirt. Whoops. Marble and graphite put together. Then... Then, when I went home, I looked inside my closet, and there it was. The whole house was made of it. <laughs> Does a witch live here? So I basically took scissors and developed a technique to get all the edges of the sheetrock and go in deeper. And I basically ate about 35% of my closet. What? I know, I expected more. And then there was spare drywall in the laundry room, and I would eat that. I think I ate about a whole closet's worth of drywall. About 20 feet by 20 feet. Roughly estimated, because I'm stupid. Then I would always find something that would be related to dirt, or the taste of dirt. Like my mom's stones for her body. Oh, no, no. Like my dad's stones for his body, which were not used. Then I started eating chalk from school. I would take all the chalk from the chalkboards and have a collection of them and eat them when I got home. Or if I got a really bad craving, I would eat it in class when no one was paying attention. No, they weren't looking at you because they, yeah. Unlike you, they had shame. Then my parents found out about me eating the drywall, so they decided to take me to the doctor. And the doctor got a stool sample. Nothing was wrong. Boo. Something was wrong. I just had an iron deficiency somehow. <laughs> Do I gotta eat iron? <laughs> gotta get iron shock. Okay. So the doctor prescribed me with medicine that would help me with the cravings, and after about a week, it stopped. And I think for six months I was stable, and I wouldn't crave. But... The cravings came back, but harder. I started eating graphite, drywall, chalk, and dirt, slash pebbles, whatever that stopped my cravings from getting worse. I would have had a technique for eating my graphite. I would take scissors and cut the pencil in half and take out the graphite, and I did this for about 500 to 1,000 fucking pencils. <laughs> Including mechanical ones. I guess he scissored up the mechanical pencils too because he's dumb. I ate them like crazy, but I think one say, but I think one say, I decided that I had to stop, so I did. Yeah. You know, Confucius said that. <laughs> I stopped eating graphite and drywall, and I haven't ate it for about a year now. Oh, the end. Oh, Wait. <laughs> but the worst thing is I picked up a new habit, eating raw dirt. No. <laughs> As opposed to cook? Yeah. There was this pile of dirt outside my house, right? That was brought from my mom's garden. Go and on. within this pile of dirt, there were these pebbles. Oh, they were slutty little pebbles. <laughs> Crunchy dirt. All dressed up. Got the bodice. Oh, shit, they wanted it. That tasted like this rock I had tasted when I was hiking on a mountain. <laughs> 
I was taking a walking hike up Mount Mountain. Yep, up Mount Mountain. The rock's taste was so soft, as rocks are wont to be. The rock's taste was so soft, and it tasted like dirt. Oh, weird. (laughs) Twist ending. I ate that piece of rock, and I wanted more. But I didn't want any of my classmates to look at me weird. (laughs) (laughs) Well, little too late. Little too late. Just, I mean. (sighs) So I didn't want my classmates to look at me weird. So I just got a small piece and said it was memory. That makes sense. I'm sure they never looked at you weird again. I'm sure they never looked at you again, period. Then, when I got home, I ate it. And after that, I went out in search of that type of rock, and to my surprise, I found it right there in the pile of dirt. I took a bowl out there and picked out the small pebbles and go... Wait. And pick out the small pebbles and go in and wash them with hot water and let dry. I would do this whenever I was alone and no one was at home. (laughs) Turns out she was abandoned. But I got caught doing this about three times. But my excuses were that I was looking for something. Good enough. (laughs) I just... Yeah. No, it's okay. No, I was uh, dirt. Yeah. So they never found out I was eating the pebbles because they're as dumb as me. Then I remembered that I really needed to stop eating the rocks and dirt because... (laughs) What it might cause my intestines harm. What it might cause my intestines harm. Not to mention my brain. Plus, I really hated the debris and was being caught in my teeth. Oh, I really hated the debris that was, that was being caught in my teeth from eating the dirt and pebbles. Fuck off. So, I stopped and went back to my drywall and pencil. Oh. Uh, <laughs> lost love. I don't think they know what stop means. But then I stopped, and there was a pause in my craving. I still craved, but I was looking out for my health. (laughs) Because I started getting this pain in my side and lower stomach that hurt. Pain. Pain that hurt. And I didn't like the pain. Oh. But then I couldn't stop my cravings. Oh. So I found out a new substance to eat. This red clayish dirt that was in front of my house, there was a pile of it. So I went out there and took a whole container full and ate about 10 pounds of that fucking, yeah, god damn, god, way up in it. 10 pounds? Yep, 10 pounds. 10 pounds of it total until I decided to stop. I think more maybe than 10 pounds because one time, I took this two Walmart-sized plastic bags and filled it up with that chunk of clay and ate those two bags worth. Wait, did they say a Walmart size or half Walmart size? No, the entire building, (laughs) Walmart-sized. I love the taste. No shit! It was the taste I have been craving since the day I started eating dirt at age five. That's what he's been looking for. Yeah. Dirt's so good. I'm age six now. <laughs> but I have not ate that red clay. I have not ate that red clay dirt for about two weeks now. Hey! Hey! hey. Somebody give me a coin here, people. <laughs> but I think I am through with eating pencils and drywall. And maybe, maybe the red clay dirt, even though I still crave it. I really, really want to go outside and get a bag full and eat it while I watch my favorite movies. So, that is the reason. Today, I joined this group because maybe you guys can help me. This is the place, right? Stop eating dirt. My name is Bonnie Bread. Stop eating dirt. No, Gross Gross Eaters Anonymous is tomorrow night. Shit. So, okay. So that is the reason. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, that is the reason today I joined this group, because maybe you guys can help me. I am tired. No, I am tried of struggling. <laughs> and I want a normal digestive life. <laughs> Comma. Like, I don't want to tell my future boyfriend that I eat dirt or I crave dirt substance. D- yeah, don't worry about your future boyfriend, honey. <laughs> They're lining up. It won't come I'm out. assuming all the men in here are going to... Yeah, all right. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, gone. Yeah, I don't even think about that. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Someone just got a boner. A girl did. All right. I want a better future, and I don't want anyone to look at my crazy. Because I love being different, but only in a good way. Thank you. My name is Edible, 18 to 21. I'm a female. <laughs> That's right. We started with bunny bread. And that means the bunny bread doesn't have to read again. And that means the bunny bread can get drunk. Yeah! Won't you help him in his quest? 